Hello everyone, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. We get a number of people coming in here with issues regarding their uh, front of the hip, uh, top of the thigh. And what's going on with these folks, uh, where they're coming in and what we're finding is they're having issues with their uh, tensor fascia lata muscle. Latte, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not sure what the uh, um, exact pronunciation for that is, but it's the TFL for short, TFL. And you kind of see this band of muscle right here in the front. And uh, it, it basically uh, also goes into the ITB, the iliotibial tract right here, the iliotibial band. It forms right in through there. And the function of this muscle, uh, what it does, it, it internally rotates uh, the femur, see this? It internally rotates the femur. So we got some folks who, uh, uh, in particular runners, athletes, that type of thing, and uh, when they run, they have a tendency to foot flare a lot. So when they're running, you can kind of see as they run, they kind of do this. They'll, they'll do that as they run, okay? So they run and they're doing this, and the reason being for that, this is an internal rotator of the femur. So if this is tight, it'll internally rotate the femur as you do this. So let's face it, again, we sit way too much. So we're in here and it just gets tightened up. Women in particular, we see this a lot in simply because, you know, they're taught to sit, you know, with the, kind of their legs crossed like this, internally rotated like this. And, and when they start doing movements such as squatting or running, that type of thing, you'll see them, you'll see the knees kind of, as they squat, the knees will cave in because of that tightness in the TFL. Also the glute medius muscle too. Uh, there's a video which is, uh, the glute medius muscle is another uh, internal rotator of the, of the hip. So check out that video as far as how to work that and work the, uh, um, soft tissue work out in the in, in the glute medius but anyway this is the TFL and it and you see this going on with females as they squat they do this um, you'll even see folks that are kind of a little bit pigeon toed as they walk they kind of walk you know kind of pigeon toed a little bit they'll you know come in like this because again a tight internal rotator of that obviously there's the adductors as well that are tight, but this is in particular to the TFL. So how do you fix, how do you change this uh, tissue in through here so that way uh, you have less of an internal rotation and the external rotators can do what they're supposed to do and it minimizes that, that, that foot flare as you, as you run and it minimizes that knees caving in as you squat. Well, we're gonna come over here to the floor and uh, you can do one of two things. If it's really, really tender in there, I usually suggest you start off with the good old foam roll. And you can kind of, let me do it uh, kind of like this, so that way. I usually recommend folks, if they're gonna do their right TFL, so in here, you're gonna use the edge, you're gonna, so that way this left thigh has space. And you're gonna lay right, kind of not square forward, but forward, but then over just a little bit. And you can feel in through here, if it's very, very tender, that foam roll going into that TFL. And I usually, let, I usually recommend folks, you start uh, distally and work your way up. See that? So I'm starting down here, working the way up, just like that. And you can hunt around if you want, you can do a little cross friction. So you can kind of roll around on it like this. Hunt around, find for those tender spots in there and search right there. That's a tender spot for me. And two to three minutes in one spot. You can even bring the uh, quad up like this. Yeah. You can even do a little knee flexion to get more in there to get that TFL. Now, as you progress from this, you wanna dig in there a little more, you get yourself the good old lacrosse ball. And you can dig in there a little more. So you have the lacrosse ball there, you see that? And you're gonna get right into that TFL. And again, 
you're gonna search for that spot, like right there. Ooh, that's a good one. See that? So you find a tender spot, yeah, right there. Ooh. So you wanna try and let your tissues melt into, excuse me, you wanna let uh, melt into the ball. So again, start distally and work your way proximally. So you start far down here like that. Oh, that's a good one right there. And you may feel uh, referred pain. In other words, when you push on a spot, you may feel pain there. It may even travel up the hip a little bit. Yeah, right there. Oh, gee. And you can even bring your knee into flexion. See that? You can even do a contract relax where you're pushing your thigh in. You can push your thigh in toward the floor. Two, three seconds, relax, and let that tissue melt into the ball. Again, push again. And relax. And you let that tissue melt into the ball. And the idea behind this, just like in some other videos we've mentioned, if you look at the ball here, you're allowing the tissues to melt into the ball. You see that stretch that my fingers kind of, as, the, as, the, as the, uh, my fingers are the muscle and the tissue in there, you see how they form around the ball and you get that little bit of stretch and mobilization through there. So over time, what happens, we sit like this, these tissues get tighter and tighter and higher, tighter and adhesions develop between the layers, the skin, the fat, the fascia and the muscle. So you get this kind of pancaked grilled cheese sandwich panini thing going on. And so they don't glide very much anymore. So then when you go do activities like to, such as running, which is thousands and thousands of repetitions or squatting, you're going to have internal rotation of that femur and it's going to become dysfunctional in your movements. And you're not going to be as efficient as you would as if you worked on it on a regular basis. Anyway, great tools to use. Use the foam roll and the lacrosse ball to free up that TFL, the tensor fascia lata muscle. I like to call it latte because, you know, we are in the age of lattes. So anyway, if you have any questions with this video, um, just drop them off in the comments section below. We thank you for watching. We appreciate it. And give this video a thumbs up. It lets us know you care. And obviously, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit subscribe. And when you hit subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notifications button so that way you don't miss any future videos coming up here uh, soon. Also, share this with others. I know, you know, I know you know people that are sitting around a lot and they become weekend warriors and they have problems with these uh, areas of their body. So share this with others so that way they can benefit from it too. Anyway, we thank you for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.